Hey everybody, it's Nicholas Rogers and I am back with another video. Today I am in the shooting range with my CZ457 Pro Varmint. Currently it is unsuppressed. I will be putting the CGS Hydra onto this rifle, but first I just wanted to shoot five five round groups with some RWS rifle match. This seems to be the favorite ammunition for my particular CZ457. And I'm gonna put it on this target at 50 yards. After I do that, I'm gonna put the suppressor on and I'm gonna see how the point of impact changes as well as if there's an increase or decrease in the accuracy of my rifle. So let's get to it. I'm gonna go ahead and set this at 50 yards. And away we go. Woo. Looking good, just one little flyer. That was center target, now we're going top left. That might just be one hole. Looking good. All right, next up is gonna to be top right. That was my worst group so far. Now all of this RWS rifle match ammunition comes from the same lot. Normally I'm able to get sub MOA groups, so like shooting typically at 50 yards, I'm shooting at like 0.3 to 0.4. Um, I have gotten into the 0.2s before, which is amazing. Next up is gonna be bottom left target. Not bad, not bad at all. All right, last five round group, bottom right. All right, see how I did. Center target. 50 yards. Lift the silencer. The point of impact went up. That's interesting. I would have expected the point of impact to drop. So far it shot a nice group though. Let's go uh, top left next. One hole. That was nice, that was, that was real nice. I'm excited to see what that measures at. Top right.
that's very, very, very tight. So far, without getting any measurements out, I'm seeing that the suppressor is actually raising my point of impact, but also tightening up my groups, which is amazing. I've heard it could go both ways, but I kind of expected it to go the other way. Suppressor's not even warm at all, not even at all. Last two mags, bottom left and bottom right. So we had one flyer, one flyer. Last group, make it good. Aim small, miss small. I think I did really good. <laughs> I think I did real good. Oh yeah. Not bad at all. Hey everybody, it's Nicholas Rogers and I'm back in the Big Timber Lodge to talk to you today about my experience of the day at the range with my CZ 457 Pro Barmet and my CGS Hydra Aluminum Suppressor. Now, this is my first time actually testing the accuracy and the point of impact shift with the suppressor on this rifle. And I had heard that your, your accuracy can get worse or better and that it will definitely change your point of impact. Now, what I had heard was when you put a suppressor on the rifle, expect for the point of impact to drop from it being non-suppressed. I had the opposite experience today. As you saw in all of my targets with the measurements, non-suppressed, I was shooting pretty much close to dead center of where I was aiming. But with the suppressor on the rifle, I was shooting about a half inch too high, which was interesting to me. Now, as far as accuracy goes, well, with or without the suppressor, with the suppressor, it actually shot just minutely better. Now, granted, I wasn't shooting my best today. It's been a while since I've been at a range trying to get the tightest groups possible, and I was a little out of practice. I've just been out mostly in the woods, planking on steel, having a good time. But today at the range, I was shooting roughly around 1.07 average out of the five groups without the suppressor, MOA. And then with the suppressor, I shot 1.009. So slightly, slightly better. Now, not making any excuses. We'll say though that in the fourth group that I had with the suppressor on the rifle, I did have a flyer where the round dropped about an inch below where the other four rounds landed. And then also too on the fifth group, I did pull one to the left. So maybe if I wouldn't have had that flyer and I wouldn't have actually pulled that one round to the left, out of the five groups, my average would have been a little bit better. But I just have to say, I'm in love with this CZ457. I, it's amazing factory rifle. The accuracy is amazing. The trigger is amazing. The way the, the stock feels, I love it. I see a lot of people wanting to do upgrades, put it on a chassis, do this, do that, swap out the triggers. I'm just going to keep mine the way it is. It does exactly what I want it to do, if not more. And then also the RWS rifle match ammunition. That stuff is gold in my rifle. Now, not saying it's going to be awesome in yours, but it is gold in my rifle. When I was done at the range today, I bought eight more boxes of this ammunition. Anyways, until next time, later.